Hello, welcome back to 3D Drawing for Model Railway. Having now done all these transfers, which will be on clear backing paper, I'm now going to start to look at the transfers that will go on the white backing paper. So any of these that have got white backgrounds will be on a separate sheet. So obviously the first thing you need to do is create a, a new page. And you can see it's already going to be set up as A4. We can just check that we have document properties. Um, and I'm going to turn on the checkerboard background. It's A4 210 by 297. So happy with that. So we've now got a, a document that we're going to be using for the white background paper. Okay, so if we let's start with this keep clear label here. Now size wise we can sort of just sort of estimate what it's going to be looking at. Um, we're going to be in this area here, we just draw a sketch on the side here. And I'll put a rectangle in place. And if we compare side by side, what sort of size we're we looking at? So, um, let's go back this. Let's try that. Slightly below there, that is left with the bottom of this. Yeah, I'm going to go with that sort of size. So we're looking at about 2.2 millimeters by 1.6 millimeters. So if we say 2.2 by 1.6. So all we're going to do is create a simple box, zoom right in. And I want that like that. Okay, so we're going to go 2.2 millimeters, millimeters by 1.6 millimeters. Okay, so you can see it's all filled in red here. So if we go to object, fill and stroke, if we do the fill as white, so you've got to select the fill color here. Like it's white. And if we go to stroke, we can change that to what's that? Let's go try it back again. Stroke should be okay, it's white again. So we've got that box now, probably looking at that, the border might need to be a little bit thinner. So if we come back into here, stroke style, and change the width. Let's change that to just one millimeter rather than 1.2, make that a little bit smaller. Okay, and then we'll put a text box in here. Shift enter to come down to the next page, clear without a capital C. Okay, and they need to be a bit more centered so we can come back in, change that. Uh, what we'll do first actually is just change the, the color. So we'll select the red color here. And need to center it. Now we can centre this up, just select. So we just stretch the font there. Let's undo that. Back up to the middle. Let's go back into the text with the spacing here, I want to get rid of that. Hide. 
find worse than so. Okay, I might make it the font a little bit bigger actually. If we just select the font, we can just drag it out top and bottom and maybe just a little bit more left. Okay. Yep, happy with that as it is. Okay, so obviously we've got one, we need two of them on for each side, so control C. So select it also, and control C, control V, and we should probably actually group that up together, and then we can drag that without affecting one part or the other. Okay, so let's look at the next part to do. So probably a little bit taller, and a little bit longer. It says crane swings keep well clear. So again, same process. We'll drag the box out. So it was 1.6, so we'll say that we'll just go for 2. We'll go for 4.5 to start with. And object fill and stroke. Stroke, we're going to change that to white by clicking right click. Set as stroke. Yeah. Set as fill, sorry. And then the stroke. Stroke colour, we want as red. Set stroke. There we go. Okay, so now we've got that. Let's add the text in. Okay, just to check. Crane swings. It's only the crane that's got capital C. So come back into this. Size. Shift enter to come to that line. Let's do the up. Okay, why is that doing that? Let's make it a bit bigger again. Okay, so let's select the text, text and font, features text, change the colour there, like that it should be the smallest. Okay, select the text, let's drag it in. Now we can drag the box, that'll work. We might want to change the line space if we can. So if we come back into text. Maybe change this down to one. So you can see what I did there, selecting the in the text here, just change this line spacing here. Yeah, that was one. Okay, the text is reasonably central. Let's just check it against what we're working with here. Yeah, happy with this. And what you've got to remember as well is we're looking at something that's you know millimeters in size. And sometimes the text just doesn't come out particularly legible but it gives the impression that it's actually there at least. So again we've grouped it, control C, control V. So now I've got those set as well. Okay so the next transfer I'm going to do is this one down the bottom here. So if we jump back into Inkscape again we're going to need another rectangle box. Height wise it's a little bit 
thinner probably than the key clear one, but it's definitely much, much longer. So just jump back in here, get box. Okay, we'll do a little bit thinner and a bit longer. We'll go for that. So we we'll go for 1.4 millimeters in height, and let's go for 6.5 millimeters in length. <coughs> okay, again, if we go fill and stroke. Um, the stroke colour, I'm going to use black because if you look at the, the picture, it definitely doesn't look like a red border out here. But I'm going to put a black border on it so that it's easier to cut out. You can actually see where it, the outside edges of the, the rectangle would be. So if we select uh, set stroke to black and then so fill to white. Okay, let's close that and we'll have that. We'll select the text box. Okay, let's make it bigger and longer. And then the font size it always does so it never seems to sort of click in there properly. Let's go for naught point four initially. initially on the font size. So it reads Cowans, Sheldon and Co Limited. It's all capitals as well, isn't it? All capitals. Cowans Sheldon. And Co little over and little limited. Okay. And code. Now how are we going to do that? I'm going to do a couple of spaces. Anything that sits in between. Full stops or anything? No. And then I'm going to put a bell on there. Come underneath. On the second line, it's 6 between the O and W, it's 7 between W and A. So 6, I'm probably going to come back a little bit. And 7. I want a little space in there. The C looks like it's directly below the S for Carlisle. One is below the and one nine six one. <coughs> okay, let's select all that and then change the font to red. Okay, so let's get another text box. Oops. Right here. It's going to be tiny little though, so we'll go for a font size of say 0.25. Oh, let's cut that down. There we go, and so text there. <coughs> okay, we'll do the same with limited. So now the length there is going to be sorry, the width 5.2. I'm just going to drag that up just to make 
that a little more central. So it's 1.37 by 5.23. Okay, and then we can select it. Select it and group. Control C, Control V, and we'll have a second one of those in there. Okay, so the next transfer I'm going to do is this one down the bottom here. So if we jump back into Inkscape, again we're going to need another rectangle box. Height-wise it's a little bit thinner probably than the key clear one, but it's definitely much much longer. So just jump back in here, get box, okay, we'll do a little bit thinner and a bit longer. We'll go for that, so we we'll go for 1.4 millimetres in height. And let's go for 6.5 millimetres in length. <clears throat> okay, again, if we go fill and stroke, um, the stroke colour, I'm going to use black, because if you look at the, the picture, it definitely doesn't look like a red border out here, but I'm going to put a black border on it so that it's easier to cut out. You can actually see where it, the outside edges of the, the rectangle would be. We select uh, set stroke to black and then set fill to white. Okay, let's close that and we'll have that. We'll select the text box. Okay, let's make it bigger and longer. And the font size it always does so it never seems to sort of click in there properly. Let's go for 0.4 initially on the 0.4 initially on the font size. So it reads Cowan's Sheldon and Co Limited. It's all capitals as well, isn't it? All capitals. Cowan, Sheldon, and Co. Little O and Little Limited. Okay, and Co. Now, how are we going to do that? I'm going to do a couple of spaces. Anything that sits in between, full stops or anything, no. And then I'm going to put a bell on there, come underneath. Okay. On the second line, it's 6 between the O and W, it's 7 between W and A. So 6, I'm probably going to come back a little bit. Seven. I want a little space in there. The C looks like it's directly below the S for Carlisle. One is below the and one nine six one. <coughs> okay, let's select all that and then change the font to red. Okay, so let's get another text box. Oops. Right here. It's going to be tiny little though, so we'll go for a font size of say 0.25. Oh, let's cut that down. There we go, and so it takes there. <coughs> okay, we'll do the same with limited. So 
components. So now the length there is going to be sorry, the width 5.2. I'm just going to drag that up just to make that a little more central. So it's 1.37 by 5.23. Okay, and then we can select it. Select it and group. Control C, Control V, and we'll have a second one of those in there. Here we go then, I found one on this zoo.co.uk There's your, your web address at the top here and that's the logo we're looking at so we can right click save image as in fact, can we do copy? copy image drag it into Inkscape, Control V and that's massive ok, so we can reduce the size so it says that in 4 mil it's 8 mil by 13 and a half. So obviously in Engage we're just going to half that really. So it's going to be 4 mil by 6.75. Back into here. So it's going to height to 6.75 and the width to 4 mil. Even that looks quite high. I think this is more for, yeah, of course it is, that's going to be way too big. More for like a, a signpost or something like that. Because realistically, what we're looking at, two or three inches across, maybe six high. I think that realistically, height wise, we're probably looking at about one millimeter by 0.5 millimeters. That might be a little bit too high. I'm just going to drag that down. I'm going to have to say 0.75. Again, they're tiny. If you wanted to do this, you're more than welcome to. As I say, though, there's some perfectly good ones available some, from some of the other manufacturers like Railtech Rail or Fox Transfers. Four initiatives. Have a quick count how many can. One, two, three. Let's do just do one side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Look at this crane. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I reckon if we do fifteen of them, that should give us enough. Select those five, control C, control B, Oop. Uh, undo that, control B. Again, control C, control B. And I'm pushing function. Okay, so those are 15 of those, nice and easy to do, um, but as I say, I, I, you could use the Fox transfer ones just as well. But I think this is going to give us a, 
you know, most of the transfers we're going to need between the two files that we've got here. And, and I'm pretty happy. So I hope you've enjoyed learning how to go through this. I will try and do some videos for some of the other ones if I find there's some appropriate stuff on there. And if you've got any questions, yeah, fire them away. And if, obviously, if anyone's got experience in using this software, because as I say, I'm nowhere near going to admit to you know, being any good at this. It's just something I've put together and how to play with. But if other people have got an experience of this and want to, to show us other ways to help out, then I'm more than happy to take that information on board. Thanks for watching.